a two kilogram car traveling to the right at eight meters per second collides with a five kilogram car. After the collision, the two kilogram car travels to the left at three meters per second, and the five kilogram car travels to the right at six meters per second. If friction is negligible. What must the velocity of the five kilogram car be before the collision? There's only one unknown. Do you think we can use approaching speed equals to separating speed to find our unknown? No. Approaching speed equals to separating speed is only good for one-dimensional elastic collisions. In this problem, there is no mention of the collision being elastic or the kinetic energy being conserved, so we do not know whether this collision is elastic or not. Therefore, we cannot use approaching speed equals to separating speed to solve this problem. However, we can use the conservation of momentum because we can use conservation of momentum for all kinds of collisions. So let's use conservation of momentum. The initial momentum of the system equals to the final momentum of the system. Initially, the two kilogram has a momentum m times v. The five kilogram has a momentum m five kilogram times this unknown velocity. After the collision, the two kilogram has a velocity of what do you think this is? It is negative three meters per second. So it's two times negative three plus the mass times the velocity five times six. This gives us sixteen plus five v equals to negative six plus thirty, and that means we have. Five v. If I subtract sixteen on both sides, I get eight, which means、uh, the velocity v is eight、uh, divided by five, which is one point six meters per second. This velocity being positive means、uh, the velocity goes to the right. So the velocity of the five kilogram car before collision is one point six meters per second to the right. What if I ask you to tell me whether this collision is elastic or not? We know that if a collision is elastic, its kinetic energy will be conserved. So we can check to see if the total kinetic energy before the collision equals to the total kinetic energy after the collision. Which means we can check to see if the one half m times v squared plus the one half m times v squared equals to the one half m times v squared plus one half m times v squared, or even simpler, we can just check to see if approaching speed equals to separating speed or not. This would be an easier calculation. Before the collision. The approaching speed is the difference in the velocities, so it's eight minus one point six, and we want to see if this equals to the separating speed. After the collision, the separating speed is the difference in velocities, so it is six minus negative three. So this. Is nine, and this one here is six point four. They are not equal, so the collision is not elastic. So for this problem, we can use conservation of momentum to find our unknown velocity, and then if we want to know whether this collision is elastic or not, we can use approaching speed equals to separating speed. To check and see if this is an elastic collision or not. If it is an elastic collision, these two will be equal. If they are not equal, it's not elastic collision.